What's up guys, welcome to this week's video. This week, I'm in Grand Haven. I'm here shooting a video for a project called the Epicenter that my dad's working with and a couple colleagues. It works with kids and trying to find themselves, but I'll link the link down in the description if you wanna know more. Anyways, I'm going around Grand Haven to shoot some drone shots, some footage of just shooting a bunch of different shots of Grand Haven. And I also wanted to show you guys Grand Haven before and after. There's something called the Coast Guard Festival. Basically 200,000 people come here to the beach, to this beach town. And yeah, it's just crazy. I've never been in Grand Haven before. So this is a new experience to me as well. I hope you guys have fun coming around with me today. And then I will be shooting again on Saturday to show you guys what the Coast Guard Festival looks like. But today it's gonna show what Grand Haven's normally like, where it's just normal, a little beach town, calm. Anyways, let's get into the video. And if you guys are wondering where I'm staying at, it's kind of like an Airbnb situation. Really exciting news though, I did get my GoPro. Got the GoPro right here. This is a floating tripod, so if it drops in the water, it'll float apparently. I'm not sure how accurate that actually is. And I got a little chest strap to hook this up to as well. So I'm very excited to use that when the time comes. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready now and I will see you guys in town. I really need a haircut. My hair is just going everywhere. You guys are gonna just need to deal with that in this video. <laughs> Yesterday, my dad and I came down here to get dinner and this entire spot was a concert and this is just such a cool setup. So just imagine like a few hundred people just crowded right here. But then when the Coast Guard Festival comes, I don't even know, like that's gonna be insane. <laughs> Wait. Wow. Right now I'm gonna walk towards the downtown area. single western Michigan, northern Michigan town has a glicks. <laughs> Apparently Grand Haven is very known for their blueberries, so I thought I would show that and I saw Blueberry Haven and I was like, yeah, that's probably perfect. <laughs> that's probably a perfect way to show uh, a blueberry store. Never seen a blueberry store before. So that was downtown Grand Haven. Now I'm gonna go down to the beach and pier and show you guys that. It's very well known. The pier is very, very well known in Grand Haven. You go on Instagram and <laughs> I swear anybody that's from Michigan, if they have a pier in their picture on Instagram, 90% of the time it's Grand Haven. So let's go see that. So I'm at Grand Haven State Park and it's a state park so I think you have to pay down there but my plan because I don't want to pay to go to a beach like a public beach like this seems like a public beach to me but I have a state park pass on my car at home I don't have it on my dad's car which is the car I have so my plan right now is to walk down to the beach and hope I can just walk in I hope that works obviously we'll see 
one thing I love about the west side of Michigan is that the homes look like you're in California. Like, does that not just scream California vibes to you, or like... Wow, that's actually sick. No animals on beach. I am the animal. Ah! Those waves are insane. And look how many volleyball courts there are. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I have never seen waves this big in Michigan before. Never. It looks like the pier is closed today. I mean, that makes sense. There's a, a lot of waves. <laughs> so I guess I'll just show you guys what I can see from here. I hope you guys enjoyed me going to the pier. I wish it wasn't closed because that would have been some really cool pictures. I'm gonna walk back to my car, find some of the other spots that they wanted me to get. Yeah, so just imagine like this. Like, I hope you guys have been noticing. As we're going through Grand Haven, imagine 200,000 people all coming here at once for a week or a weekend. Just imagine that. <laughs> and for the rest of the video too. And then, yeah, obviously in the second part of this video, you guys are gonna see the Coast Guard Festival and how crazy that is. So I will see you guys back at the car. Yeah, this area really reminds me of Northern California when I was there. The way the roads are built, the way the houses are built, the beach right across the street, and the little walkways down. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm back in the car now. Honestly, I think I walked about a mile to the pier because it took longer than I thought to get back. And I'm really glad I caught the shot of them windsurfing and they're still doing it. I hope that's called windsurfing because I'd probably get roasted if it wasn't windsurfing, it if it was called something else. Anyways, now I gotta, cause I can't remember off the top of my head where else we were supposed to go for different shots. So we already did the pier in the water, well somewhat the pier, <laughs> as much as I could do. So I'm gonna put in my phone which one's closest and hit them all, enjoy the ride. So on my way to the next spot I noticed this really cool park with a bunch of trees and actually something to do on my list was get a bunch of videos of of the trees in the area. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little montage of this little tiny park in the square. Okay, so the next spot we're going to is Patricia's Chocolate. That was a place suggested, and I'm gonna go try to get some footage in there. <laughs> and then after, I might do a little bit of shopping because there are no other places that I was told to go to. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed exploring with me so far. So fast forward about 30 minutes. I just went shopping and I really regret not bringing my camera because the coolest interaction happened. Yesterday I saw somebody on their motorcycle wearing a Barefoot Dave's shirt. I bought a shirt so I'll show you in a sec. It's basically a man and his dog in a van and it says Barefoot Dave's on it. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. I saw the shirt and I was like, oh, I would really love that. And when I was walking down there, I saw a shop with that same shirt. So I walk in. Well, this is the shirt. This is the front. And this is the back. See? That is so cool. At one point when I'm buying it, I'm kind of like, so I assume you're Dave. He's like, I'm Dave, and that's my dog. And the dog was chilling in the middle of the store. I wish I could have gotten that interaction on camera. You really catch the best moments off camera. But anyways, now I don't know what next clip's gonna show, so. Hey guys, so it's Friday now, it's the next day. Today the pier is actually open, so I'm going down there to take some shots of the pier and the boardwalk, apparently the walk to the pier from the town is very beautiful. So I'm going to check that out, get some more footage for the project and for myself, get some more vlog content. I don't think I'm really gonna say much on this little journey down to the pier. I think I'm just gonna make a little montage out of it. So enjoy. 
this is a really good way to show you guys kind of like the old style homes how cool it is this is like pretty normal in west and northern michigan like seeing houses like this it's a very unique thing So now we're downtown and I just got the whole boardwalk to do. How's it going? What's up? I have some friends in the Marines. I'd be happy to support you guys. Yeah. Huh? There's some pull-ups too? Some pull-ups? Yeah. Where at? Right here. Oh, I can do some? Yeah. Yeah. Scan this and I'll ask you for a code. Yeah. We'll fill it out. Just show me the completed form and then you can do pull-ups. Okay. Pull up. Yeah, he wants some stickers, so. Right here. Which is? Alright. I'll tease that hobby pop up. Sounds good. What do you want? Carter Powell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for your service too. You go to school still or what? No, I actually uh, dropped out to do travel blogging uh, for YouTube. <laughs> so that's what this is for. How well does that work out for you? Huh? How well does that work out for you? It's been really, really fun so far. It's just a process. I've been doing it for like three or four months now, but it's been really, really fun. That's what's up, dude. Yeah. What's, what's your name? About military? I'm Guy Thompson. What was it? Gunny Thompson. Gunny? Yeah. Wow, that's a cool name. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one, dude. Yeah, have a good one. Man, that was so cool. Goodness, the pier is open today. Let's go. It's not nearly as crowded as I thought it was going to be today. So now that we made it to the end of the, of the pier, uh, I got all the footage I need, at least here. I'm gonna do some drone footage in like an hour or two, I think. I might show that, might not. If I don't, then this footage will probably cut to tomorrow when the people come, I guess, for Coast Guard Festival because there are not nearly enough people, at least from what I heard, how this is like here yet. Hey guys, so it's the last day, it's Saturday. I'm gonna, I already got a lot of footage from the last couple days. So now I'm just gonna show you guys the Coast Guard Festival and how crazy it is and show you more shops downtown. Yeah, like see how the day goes, I guess. Hey, come visit Bear for days, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no shoes, no shirt, no worries. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that interaction that I was telling you guys about the other day with Dave. <laughs> what the? Everybody's making their own boats down here. That's so sick. Black Pearl. <laughs> That's so cool. So now we're gonna walk down to the beach and see how many people are there. There's so many boats along the water right here. Oh my God. There's not nearly as many people as I thought would be here. Maybe that's just next weekend. See, if you had a camper, that could be you. <laughs>
As you watch these clips, notice how many boats are going out to the lake and coming back. So many. I've never seen so many boats in one place. Okay, that's a lot more people. <laughs> now that amount of people makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Just needed a different angle to see it from. All right, well that was showing the beach and all the boats and now probably just gonna go to lunch and walk around town a little bit more. You wanna go on video? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Title sponsor, advanced packaging, give it up for them. Oh my God. We need the turtle in the U.S. Coast Guard boat to the race line. Go eat. It is cool. So right now, you guys remember the Coast Guard sign looked like the Hollywood sign. We are on the other side of the river trying to find the trail to lead to that, be able to see the city from a view. We're looking to find the trail over there, or if it's the trail over there, whichever one it is, we're gonna try to find it. I'll bring you guys along. There we go, we finally made it. I was just saying, I don't think we can go any further. Well, this is where they did the, the water show earlier. That's cool. This is pretty cool though. See everything from here. Nobody's at the concert. I wanted to see something. Imagine if a bunch of people were there. I hope you guys liked watching us go up to the sign and then see all of Grand Haven over there. We'll see you guys at dinner and then I'll sign off. Hey guys, so it's now the next day. We got back really late at night and I forgot to film the outro, so I thought I would just do it right here as I'm beginning editing. I hope you guys enjoyed my trip to Grand Haven. I had a lot of fun showing you guys everything. I wish there were a lot more people at the Coast Guard Festival. There were a lot of people, a lot of boats, but I feel like next weekend I heard is supposed to be a lot better. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.